A Texas family says their loved one is innocent of murder and should not be put to death. Now they're using the anniversary of the Supreme Court's decision to allow the death penalty to highlight their case. News Channel 34's Trevor Shirley reports from Washington, D.C. For the past four days, these demonstrators have stood outside the Supreme Court calling for an end to capital punishment. We want to have justice prevail in this case, not just for Rodney, but for everybody else. Roderick Reed's brother Rodney was convicted of the 1996 murder of Stacy Stites and sentenced to death. Last week, a Texas court denied Reed's latest appeal. Now his family, citing what they say is new evidence in the case, hopes the U.S. Supreme Court steps in. Because we believe if you cannot give it back, don't take it. And they cannot give back a life. 43 years ago this week, the Supreme Court reaffirmed the use of capital punishment, but opponents here say the practice needs to end. We look for compassion and mercy and forgiveness. Last year, 25 people were put to death in the U.S., 13 of those in Texas alone. Now, supporters of the death penalty say it's a necessary deterrent, especially when it comes to violent crimes. For now, Roderick holds out hope the Supreme Court will step in. Even though we've been waiting for 23 years, I still have faith in God that we will find that way out. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.